Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through September 10th. This is for the sign of Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We're going to see whatever comes up. We're going to get three of these, then we're going to get some of those, and then we're going to get one of these at the end. We're going to clarify these with these at the end as well. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We're going to clarify these at the end. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I gotta flip my phone over. Distracting me. Cancer. Maybe you're being distracted. You know, everything that happens for a reading in a reading is for you. There is probably some distractions. And I'm actually being distracted by a cancer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's distracting me. Anyway, um, it's flipped now, so it's concentrated on this. Let's get concentrated. usually do this but I'm going to I don't know how that ended but magician reverse this is being duped are you being duped by somebody cancer is somebody taking advantage of you you could be dealing with a master manipulator, whether it's you or the other person. There is some lies, there's some deception. Somebody has some tricks up their sleeve. There's some conflict. You could have some competition. You probably do have some competition. Uh, or the person you're dealing with has some competition. Reckless behavior, acting naive. There's some conflict. This is about removing obstacles. Lies, okay. These two are mirroring each other. This is lies and reversed. And this is lies. You are dealing with somebody or somebody in this situation is not telling the truth. Somebody could be being taken advantage of. This can also be lack of faith. in accepting it or offering a new opportunity, lack of faith in anything being stable and solid because you've been duped in the past. This is in the past position, so could be happening now though, so keep that in mind. This is releasing that past perhaps, that deceptive situation, this is releasing. But there's power struggles with releasing. Mm. You may feel like your life has turned upside down this week. Things are out of control and you're trying to control. And that is what this, that's why this card came up. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is trying to control something. 
This is severing ties with somebody that is egotistical. And this is narcissistic, okay? So, and this is a narcissist as well. So, you're dealing with a situation, whether, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of, there's a manipulative individual in the room or around, okay? And it's causing some mental turmoil. It's causing you to feel trapped. And I can see that you just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I know that you want something solid. And this is right in the middle. So that I believe that there is going to be a new solid opportunity at some point. We don't know when yet. Because right now it feels like you may, have la you may lack faith that you can find anybody solid because you've dealt with a... narcissist you're blocking a solid opportunity eh is that what's going on you're you're blocking it you're wearing a mask you're pretending that you know you're ready but you're not ready what the hell is this 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 is denial about your security. I don't think you're secure. You may be telling the world that you're secure, but you're not. Trying to keep structure in your life, trying to remain structured and controlled, but you may not be, you know, deep down. Trying to bring happiness. You're trying to be happy. And that's what you're supposed to do, right? That is. You're making conscious changes. You are. To release burdens and baggage from this person that has lied to you. Somebody lied to you and you're still, you know, blocking a new solid opportunity because of the power struggles from this trickster. But you are evolving and you are changing. And you are, things that you have been waiting for are coming. They are coming. Because you've done a lot of healing work and you're still healing. You are making some compromises. You're releasing things and you're changing. You're evolving. You're transforming. And you're, you're bringing happiness and bliss back to your life. There is another opportunity coming. A solid opportunity. Could be with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody may want to come back. Okay, maybe it is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that wants to come back. Or you want to go back to them. I mean, you look at this Seven of Swords. He's hiding behind the wall, wanting to go back to what he left. He needs to go get that. It's not over yet. i got some more damage to do. Um, so this could be somebody that you know that wants to come back and, and finish you off or something. Be careful. Be careful. All right. Just be careful with this seven of swords. I mean, it, you know, he's got, he wants to go back and get what he left. He can't walk away yet because he hasn't got the rest. Now this two of swords is just staring at me. It's like. You have to make a painful decision this week or in the, soon, okay? A painful decision as to whether you want this new opportunity. Or you want to give up on it. Do you have another chance left? Is it worth another chance? You've gained a lot of strength. You've gained a lot of experience through some sort of battle. Okay, you have. I feel as though you are guarded from this new opportunity that you've manifested. You have a new opportunity coming in that you're wary about. You're very wary about this new opportunity. 
But it looks like it could make you happy. It could make you happy. Could be with a Leo. Could be with the Aries, Sagittarius. Could be with a Gemini. But Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is most prominent here. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So that's what's most prominent here. So you'd be, you're probably dealing with a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. It could be their sun, moon, or rising, okay? Whoever this person is, there's been some cheating going on with this person. They've, they've been sneaky or shady or something like that. They've done something that they shouldn't have done, whether it was you or them, okay? Somebody has done something that they shouldn't have done, and they want to go back. There's an opportunity for renewal. There's an opportunity for happiness. Somebody will have to put in a lot of work and effort. Perhaps somebody has put in a lot of work and effort. They've changed. They've changed. And some. it appears that somebody is headed in your direction very, very quickly. This could be a new, uh, this, could, this is a exciting opportunity. It really is. It's exciting. And, you know, maybe, I'm not sure this person will stick around, okay? So just beware. Maybe this person is just coming in to, you know, finish you off. Like I said, they're coming to get what they left or to finish the job or who knows what. But now we have the three twos. Okay, two, two, two. This may be somebody you've been in a relationship with before, just saying. But it looks like you're at a crossroads. You have two paths. You can move forward and down the new path, or you can stay here in the past. You do. You have two paths. I feel like you've been waiting for closure on a situation. And perhaps now you could get the opportunity to either close the deal or reopen the deal. It's, you know, that's what this is. It looks like you have to make a choice. Do you want this, you know, do you want to go back to where you've been or do you want to take a new opportunity? There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, for happiness, for abundance. A lot of happiness. Wishes. Wish fulfillment. But somebody is reluctant to move on. Reluctant to move forward to a more peaceful situation. So you, this is, you're going to have to make a decision. You are, Cancer. All right, do you want to move forward with someone new? Okay, because you have a new opportunity waiting for you. Or, or, do you want to give somebody else a chance? Eights are the time is now. Something that you have been waiting for is happening now. It's something that you manifested that could make you very happy. There's happiness here all over in this reading. But you got to be careful not to deal with somebody who has tricks up their sleeve, hidden agendas, and they're not offering you anything successful. This is somebody that is very char charming, very cunning, and has a lot of resources within them and power to manipulate. They know what they're doing. This ain't their first merry-go-round. They've done it before. They've got it mastered. It looks as though you've gone through a rebirth. You have. You've gone through a rebirth. You're not the same person you, you used to be. And you're feeling pretty happy with where you're at. A lot of you are feeling really happy and content. And that's the way it goes. You, you, get, you get to this point where you're, you're glowing and you're abundant and you're feeling on cloud nine. You know, you... 
you're just loving who you are and you've, you're just you're embracing the day you're embracing the lessons you know you get to the point where you're the empress you know man or woman you get to this point where you're a new person you're happy then you get this negative Nelly this this Debbie Downer that comes in to test your strength. <laughs> strength. I just I was gonna say to test your and then I saw the strength. That's what's going on. So whoever I think that you have two choices obviously with these twos. Twos are about partnerships. We have three of them. Twos are about faith and trust. And I can see that you're lacking faith in one situation. Um, you are dealing with somebody that doesn't, that isn't a happy person. Could be this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. This person doesn't have a lot of ambition, doesn't have a lot of drive, okay? Somebody, misery loves company, and perhaps they want to come back to knock you down a couple notches. Let's see, we got two notches there that are still waiting. Whatever, two knives, two swords, you know, because they see that you have uh, grown, you've healed they, you know, this is a card of, of sacrifice. It's a card of being stuck in limbo. So perhaps you have been enlightened in a certain way. Because when you're stuck, when you're hanging there, you are being enlightened. Maybe you've been enlightened. You've allowed this, this rebirth to happen. You've done a lot of healing. And here comes um, Mr. Pessimism or Mr. or Mrs. Pessimism to... Uh, keep you keep you there you know they want to they want to keep you stuck they don't want you to change this is resisting change they don't want you to change they don't want you to let them go there's secrets there's lies there's deception beware all is not as it seems whoever this this person is that is coming back around is a liar they are a liar okay they are And it's a dead-end situation. Now, what about this new opportunity? See, these are having a hard time coming together. What about this new opportunity? Because I see you have choices. Yeah, there is a new opportunity if you don't go backwards. <laughs> this is a card of hope. It's a card of, of uh, faith. This is what goes around, comes around. It's reversed. People don't really, I mean, sometimes they do, so I'm not even going to say it. I say people don't really change, but you're dealing with a with a master manipulator that has not changed. Just saying, they may want to have a commitment with you, but it's not destined. It's not good. The wheel of fortune reversed is bad luck, and this is bad luck as well. So, I feel as though you have this is and it's a karmic lesson of some sort. Okay, it is. Right, can you pass this test? Can you focus on the new instead of instead of the hurt? Because there's a new opportunity for love as well. You do have a choice. Do you go back to where you've been? Or do you allow a new opportunity to grow? Okay? Because there's room for growth here. So I feel like it's a time there's a there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you could remain hopeful, if you could Continue the healing process that you've been on. You know, don't go back and focus on that hurt. There's probably a third party situation. You're dealing, you have an untrustworthy individual in the mix. There's somebody that you're dealing with that is an energy thief. And you've gone through a renewal and now it's like, you you gone through a renewal and now this person wants to hurt you 
Uh, you know, I'm sorry to say that. But there's a new offer, too, okay? There is. There's, you got this one person who is untrustworthy, he's an energy thief that has hurt you in the past. Then you got this new offer for a genuine offer of love that's coming in. You have an you do have a change of course. It's up to you. Do you want to do you want to stay where you're at or do you want to do you want to accept this new offer of love? Or do you want to offer? You know, if it's you that needs to offer the love, there's an opportunity for new love here, Cancer. But if you go backwards, going backwards is going to lead you back to this liar. So do not go backwards. That's my advice. We're going to clarify these cards. Let me zoom this in. And let my cat out because as you can know, she's not happy about this. That was Bella. Honeymoon. We're going to clarify honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now, honeymoon doesn't mean getting married. It can. But it's about going on a trip with somebody, going somewhere, you know, having a little mini, mini vacation. Oh, Jesus. This person, whoever this person is, may come in and, and, totally fill you up with a pile of shit. They may invite you to go somewhere. You know, oh, let's go here, let's go there, you know what I mean? Or you might, you know, whatever the case is, but it's it's a, it's a trick, okay? It's definitely a trick. They have they have tricks up, they have something up their sleeve. They have hidden agendas. You have a better opportunity. Okay? That's what this says. You have a better opportunity listen to your intuition and the thing is is that and there's been a third party situation there's been a lot of hurt here and sometimes and you just want to be happy i see that you just and you and sometimes it's easier to go back to what you know than start something new you have a new opportunity that is more solid than this individual that has nothing really good and stable to offer you you do have a stable opportunity if you can wait for it Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Right now, you might get a little emotional. You might feel a little emotional. You might feel a little overwhelmed with what is going on. Maybe you're feeling lonely. Maybe you feel like you're a victim. Maybe you feel like you're never going to be loved again. Don't let those thoughts get in your way of realizing what you're worth because the empress knows what she's worth she doesn't chase opportunities the right one comes to her at the right time her or him and she waits for it stay optimistic and this is not optimistic you are not mastering your emotions by letting negative thoughts bring you or, or loneliness bring you back to somebody that hurt you Give, a re give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. <laughs> so funny. So, I mean, it's not funny. This is no victory in success. This is, this is uh, bringing balance back to your life. This is doing the right thing. This is karma. This person is wants you to give them a chance. It's a karmic situation. It's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what I think. Or it's, it could be any other sign. But somebody is rushing in. They aren't sticking around. This guy don't stick around. They come in and they leave. Okay, so keep that in mind. They don't stick around. There, cause somebody's coming in and asking you to give them a chance. It doesn't lead to victory and success. There's no progress that is going to be made from here. There's no confidence that this is going to work. It's karma. It's karmic. It's a heavy decision. 
you have to make a heavy decision. Are they telling me the truth? Is this honest? This is also a card of power. It's a card of cutting out. You know, you could be dealing with somebody who's jealous. And that's why they're coming back around. They're jealous that you've gone through a renewal. They're jealous that you've gone through a rebirth. They je they're jealous that you're not into them anymore. Jealousy. That could be the only reason. Maybe they're just after your money. Keep that in mind. This person is only interested in everything but love in reversed. So beware. You have two opportunities here. One is with someone new, but it, it, I see that you need to be patient for this person. I don't see... I don't see this person coming in this week. I don't. I feel like this week you're gonna, you got some karma to deal with. Closure is needed on a situation, whether it's physical closure or emotional closure. Closure is needed with a with a deceptive situation before a new love can come in. Don't think about going back to somebody that really hurt you. Stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. The right one is coming with that ace of pentacles right there in the middle. The right one is coming. Think positive. Manifest it. The ace of pentacles is the card of manifestation. Manifest what you are worth and it will come. You have to invest time and energy into getting something solid. Solid people, solid situations don't happen overnight. They don't rush in. It takes time. Anybody that comes rushing into your life usually isn't very solid. You may be feeling lonely this week. Don't let that get the best of you. It's part of the healing process. It's part of knowing what you're worth. It's gaining wisdom. Finding sanctuary. Where's my book? Opening to your spiritual source. Rest, rejuvenate, tune in to your spiritual source. It's in times of retreat and inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. And you are going to have to go within. And that's what this, this, this time is about. It's about your worth. Remembering what you're worth. So do I think new love's coming in? No. If anybody comes in, they are a liar, a manipulator, a cheater, and it ain't good. If you were in a coupled relationship and everything is happy, you didn't you shouldn't have made it this far. Talk to you later.